What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll give you a thorough comparison between two platforms, Google Fi and Mint Mobile. I'll dive into what makes each of these mobile carriers unique, their pros, cons, and help you decide which one might be the best for you. So let's get started first with Google Fi. Google Fi, formerly known as Project Fi, is a mobile virtual network operator or MVNO owned by Google. It uses a combination of T-Mobile, US cellular and Wi-Fi networks to provide coverage, meaning they don't own their own network infrastructure, so they rely on other networks for coverage. This unique setup allows Google Fi to switch seamlessly between networks, ensuring you always get the best signal available. Now let's talk about their strengths or their pros. First of all, Google Fi offers excellent network coverage thanks to its multi-network switching capability. This means you are less likely to experience dead zones, especially in urban areas. Second, Google Fi's billing is straightforward and flexible. You pay a base fee for unlimited calls and texts, and then data is billed per gigabyte up to a certain threshold after which data is free but at a reduced speed. So here they charge you, as you can see, $10 per gigabyte. So uh, you need to be aware if you're a heavy data usage because, because it can accumulate pretty quickly. International travelers will love Google Fi. It offers high-speed data in over 200 countries at no extra cost, making it ideal for those who frequently travel abroad. However, there are some cons or drawbacks to Google Fi. First one is the pricing can get expensive if you use a lot of data. As I told you, the data can accumulate pretty quickly if you are a heavy user. While the per gigabyte charge is straightforward, heavy data users might find themselves paying more compared to traditional unlimited plans. Now, another downside is device compatibility. While Google Fi Networks works with Google's own Pixel phones and a few other selected models, not all phones can take full advantage of its network switching features. Now, after we took a look at Google Fi, let's take a look at the other competitor in this video, which is Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is another MVNO but it operates solely on T-Mobile's network. So they also don't own their network infrastructure, but they rely only on T-Mobile's network, which can mean consistency. Mint is known for its budget-friendly plans and its unique approach to selling mobile services in bulk, offering three, six, and 12 months plan. Here are some of the pros of Mint. Firstly, Mint mobile pricing is hard to beat. It offers some of the cheapest plans on the market, especially if you are willing for to pay for several months in advance. So this is the perk that they offer. This can lead to significant savings over time. Second, the service is straightforward and easy to understand. You get unlimited talk and text with various data packages to choose from, all at a fixed monthly rate. And lastly, Mint Mobile has a BYOP or bring your own phone policy, meaning you can use virtually any unlocked phone, making it highly flexible for users switching from other carriers. However, Mint Mobile does have its own drawbacks or cons. One of the main drawbacks is that since it uses only T-Mobile's network, your coverage is limited to T-Mobile's footprint. This might not be an issue in urban areas, but rural coverage can be a bit spotty. Another con is the upfront cost. While it does mean that you can pay less generally for a month, however, paying for several months in advance can be a significant upfront expense, which might not be feasible for everyone. So in order to get the best prices, you have to pay in advance. So you get the point here, uh, see what is best for you. So which one should you choose after we looked at each of them? Which one should you choose based on the pros and cons of each? If you are someone who travels internationally frequently, values network reliability through seamless switching and prefers flexibility in your billing, Google Fi might be the better choice for you. Their pay as you go plan is excellent, especially if you don't use a lot of data 
and if you are a traveler it's a no-brainer. On the other hand, if you are looking for the most cost-effective option or if you are uh, if you don't want to pay a lot monthly and you are willing to pay a large sum upfront and you're comfortable with T-Mobile's coverage in your area, Mint Mobile is an excellent option for you. Now, ultimately, the decision comes down to your personal needs and preferences. Each of them is great in their own regard. You cannot go wrong with any of them. However, as we discussed in this video, each has its own strengths and weaknesses and the choice will ultimately come down to what you want and what are your priorities and need. So consider how much data you use, where you need coverage and how much you are willing to pay upfront. All these factors will help you make your decision.